All right, Halani, it's not just about back-to-school shopping. It's also about back-to-school health. And before you send your kids off, parents, do a quick safety check. Pediatrician Dr. Selena Moore is here to walk us through some of that. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Let's start off with the, the backpack and how heavy it should yeah. be, or maybe it's how unheavy the load should be. It should really be a lot lighter than what we have been seeing lately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 20, 25 pounds, evenly distributed on your back. If you do have the ability to have a rolling backpack, yeah, also make good. sure that you switch arms too, so you're not always pulling with the same arm. Good advice. Yes. All right, what about uh, school bus safety? Yes, well, any way that you get to school, whether it's walking or bike or school bus or car, you have to be very careful getting on and off the bus, getting in and out of the car, and crossing streets. Okay. There are over 60 kids a day in the United States that get hit by a car. Wow. Peak age used to be the younger children. Now we're seeing the peak age being teenagers, the peak times before and after school, and the peak month, September. Wow. So right there at the very beginning yes. of the school year. And, you know, and, and, and kids, I mean, they will be kids, and they uh, goof off sometimes as they're walking to school or biking to school or whatever and take chances. And sometimes, you know, the, the cars, they're not used to it because they've had three months off from, you know, having the kids walk in front of them. So everybody's got to be extra vigilant. And we're all very distracted as well. That's true. So, uh, you know, we tell the children. <laughs> more and more every year. Heads up phones down right good advice yeah. all right so after summer vacation uh, how do you get your children back on a good sleep schedule should start now yeah. takes a couple of weeks to the kids get acclimated again to a new start wake up time so get the kids waking up earlier now towards the time that you want them to be getting up and having a good breakfast every day all right we talk about yes. that a lot but how important is that it's the way to start the day yeah so make sure you get some protein, some fruits in, a little bit of starch to be able to get them through to lunchtime. Right. Even if the parents don't have a good breakfast habit, make sure that the kids have something healthy before they get going. Yes. All right. Uh, lastly, let's uh, talk about uh, playground safety. Yes. Um, be careful with unexpected risks. Mm -hmm. Use a playground uh, equipment appropriately. And, um, you know, teachers are aware of this, too, to make sure someone, an adult's always monitoring the kids. And, you know, playgrounds these days are much more safe than they were, like, when I was a kid. I mean, everything was made out of metal and rusty and what have you. Now, at least you've got some <laughs> decent stuff, and, and the playground isn't as hard. It's bouncy yeah, now. That, that's right. <laughs> that's that's kind of nice. So, All right. Well, thank you for being here, and uh, good luck going forward right, with, with safe, the school everyone. year. Exactly. Let's send it back over to Holly.